I want to create a brush stamp. And so I'm in Photoshop. And anything that is that's got value to it, so black to white, will be a wonderful way to make a stamp. We'll see what this looks like. I want to create some kind of a scaly looking thing, so I'm using this black edge as something that I can cut in with or pull out with. Now, Mudbox really wants this to have a little bit of a, a blur to it, so I apply a Gaussian blur and let that edge get a little bit soft. Now once I've done that, I can go in, after I've saved it, and go to my image browser. I save that to my desktop, so I'm going to slide down through my messy desktop and locate that file <laughs> deep in here. There we go. Once I'm there, I can either select that as a stencil or I can save that or select that as my active uh, stamp, which I just have done. And that is attached to my sculpt brush. And in here, I can change the spacing, the stamp spacing. So some of the brush options is what I really want to focus on for a moment. Change my magnitude. And you can see what that does. OK. I'm not very happy with the fall off of the brush tip shape. So if we open up that, you can see that the reason why is it doesn't fall off the side. So I'm going to let it blend off. And you'll see the difference here. It's got no hard edges as it falls off. It just kind of cleanly slides off. OK, change the spacing. They pull a little bit closer. That's starting to become very interesting.